My name is Lydia Masharia. I'm the director in charge of employee benefits insurances at Minet. That is where we take care of your employees' group life and pension. We take care of their health benefits. We also take care of actuarial services so that we can advise you better on the cost of the solutions that we give you. Uh, Minet Kenya is a, a one-stop shop for all insurances. So we also have our Minet Risk Solutions. We also have our retail and SME practice and our vision is to secure your tomorrow. Smart Applications International, I think, was first introduced to me uh, somewhere around 2004, 2005. Um, by that time, I had been in Minet for maybe six years, about six years. Uh, and of course, since then till now, we have been interacting with the smart applications. And um, they came in with a solution that had not been heard about in the market. Uh, talking to us about being able to biometrically identify people and to be able to manage benefits uh, remotely and the member being able to see their balances and being able to know what products uh, they are covered for uh, by just accessing services at uh, the provider's side. So we've known SMART for most of those 20 years, so to speak. SMART applications has met our needs as an organization. As I said, we met in about 2005 when they first introduced the solution. At the time, the market was photocard driven. So for us to identify members, first of all, they needed to fill application forms, they needed to bring us photos so that we have a photo card that they can then go and use at the, at the providers. One of the things that was a real uh, clincher for this new solution was that they were offering us a solution that would enable us to manage fraud. Of course, we know that fraud is a big deal in medical. So when they did come and they did give us not only biometrics and management of benefit, they also gave us uh, uh, um, an ability to catch fraud, which was quite rampant with the photo cards because you couldn't quite tell whether this was the person, not the person, the card could be given to a cousin or to, to a friend. And so their solution seemed to be more holistic uh, and was going to answer some of the problems that we were suffering as an industry at the time. Of course, as with any new thing, there were things that SMART brought along that we cannot forget. One of the things was that now for us to move onto this platform or to move our clients onto, onto this platform, there would be a drastic change in cost from photo cards to smart cards. But there was also the element of the fact that there needed to be biometric card readers at the hospital. What I remember at the time is that not only were we uh, now going to tell our clients that they needed to pay more for this uh, identification document, I mean identification solution, but we also needed to fund the putting of these biometric readers in the hospitals. That became a challenge. It became a big challenge for us because it meant this cost would then again also need to be passed back to the client. I think it was about 5,000 per reader. We have almost a thousand facilities on our panel. So that became a challenge. But what is memorable to me about that is as soon as we made SMART uh, understand the difficulty we were facing with trying to sell not only a more expensive card, but also to sell uh, uh, putting biometric readers in the hospital, they were able to go back to the drawing board and they were able to absorb the cost of readers in the in the in the in the in the provider facilities and they quickly engaged most of the providers to 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 try and have this solution put on of course there was a lot of providers who even as as we see in change today were a bit resistant but there were those who were quick to embrace like the Aga Khans were quick to embrace Gertrude was quick to embrace uh, Mata Hospital was quick to embrace I remember there was Acacia clinics by the time but now obviously Smart is already a well-known brand across all our hospital networks that is one of the things that I would say is one of the memorable experiences that together we were able to navigate those challenges and to get the providers to accept and to also get the clients to see the value of what um, was being done 
Another memorable experience is when the private sector started to write large public sector medical schemes and we needed a solution again for identification and for management of benefits. The traditional smart access with each member having a card was a challenge. And so again, SMART was able to go back to the drawing board and was able to come up with a solution that worked for us, that was able to be used for those large schemes. And so um, I would say my, those would be the two most memorable things that I can remember. But I think the point there is that SMART has always been very agile in finding solutions to the issues that we raise. And that is, I think, one of the most memorable things for us as Minet. Of course, over the 20 years, SMART has not remained static. We have since moved from, I, 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 I try to remember, it's quite a while, whether we start began, began first with just the biometric recognition first and then possibly move to a more robust uh, benefit management. And you see, as, I, as, as Minet, I, we're a bespoke solutions uh, service provider. And so every client, has a different product and one of the things I'd say about smart and evolving is that there is no challenge that we gave them that they were unable to surmount so when we sold products where the benefit changed depending on how many children you had then they went back and they found a solution for that when we developed a product where you know you 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 move from maybe one grade to the next they went ahead and found a solution for that so in terms of evolution they sort of grew with us as a business they met our needs as a business but of course most recently um, the move to a virtual access um, has been I think one of the most recent evolutionary things that uh, SMART has done um, and I think it's the way of the future if you check uh, the, 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 the first world second world I mean, first world economies you find some of these things are things that are being used where you don't actually need a physical card to be able to access uh, services and the virtual access is is very welcome of course it's had maybe some challenges but as as with any change like what we spoke about in 2005 that happens but once it's embraced um, it becomes it becomes the way uh, uh, that people are able to access services so yes smart has evolved with us and we expect that they'll continue to do so even in the years to come Uh, SMART has also had to navigate challenges like we all did uh, over the COVID time and one of the things that was the biggest challenge then was that the, the biometric fingerprint that we used to use traditionally became a challenge because nobody wanted to touch anything after anybody else um, because of the, the, the protocols that we had in terms of sanitation and cleanliness and quickly SMART was able to, to answer that, that, that problem by uh, giving us an OTP solution such that people now did not need to use their biometric fingerprints anymore. They could use their phones and get a, a one-time pin that they'd be able to use uh, to access uh, medical services and to access care at the hospitals. So once again, uh, SMART was quickly able to come up with something that still enabled us because what we had sold to clients was benefit management, uh, fraud management, member identification. So they were quickly able to give us a solution that enabled us to continue to give what we had promised the clients, although in a bit of a different way to ensure that we adhered with COVID protocols. So on this special occasion of 20 years of service for SMART, I will say in the traditional Kenyan way, Hongera, congratulations, we are so proud of you and we are a partner that is proud to be associated with you uh, and we wish you and the entire team at SMART um, all the best now as you celebrate and even in the future we look forward to celebrating 30, 40, 50 and more years together as we partner to offer seamless healthcare access to our mutual clients. As SMART embarks on their next 20 years, my advice would be that it's never enough. We are very happy with what you've done so far, 
but we need you to stay ahead of the curve. We are looking forward, like I had possibly said earlier, to other forms of identification, other ways of managing member benefits, other ways of, of managing fraud. And so we look to you as pioneer, as the pioneer uh, solution provider in this nation to bring more innovation, the, the, the facial recognition, the iris recognition, the whatever it is, I mean, that we can be able to quickly sell to our clients to give them value and to be able to show them uh, or to be able to share with them how better to access services uh, in the years to come. Once again, Smart, congratulations. We are proud of you. But like we have said, we expect a lot more from you in the years to come. We celebrate with you. We, we, we trust that we will continue to innovate together so that we can meet our clients' needs beyond expectation. Thank you very much.